Hey guys, today we're going to look at one of the strangest Buddhist temples in Sri Lanka. This is known as the Somawati Stupa and this area has reported the largest number of UFO sightings in this country. At least 18 unexplained phenomena have been reported so far in this place. As you can see, this is a beautiful temple. This type of structure is called a stupa. But look at these posters nearby. There are a series of photographs which show some bizarre occurrences. Here you can see a weird thing with a purple disc and a green blob-like structure. People insist that this was a flying craft and it kept hovering over the stupa for many minutes before disappearing. Here are some more pictures of the UFO from different angles. There are also several bizarre lights which repeatedly appear over the stupa. These are considered as divine messages from the gods. Are these authentic pictures or are the authorities creating elaborate hoaxes to fool us. I met the chief Buddhist monk and he explained to me that these are divine vehicles coming from the sky at certain intervals. I asked him if these are authentic pictures and he confirmed that these are indeed genuine photographs. Buddhist monks are known for being extremely honest and he also pointed out that most of the photographs were not taken by anonymous visitors, but were taken by people of very high position. For example, some of these pictures were taken by a parliament minister of Sri Lanka by the name of Jayavikrama Pereira. I don't know if a person of such high position would risk releasing a fake picture. I think the repeated UFO sightings here or a genuine phenomenon. Why are these UFO sightings taking place only around this temple? There are at least 6,000 Buddhist temples in Sri Lanka. So what is special about this temple? Even though this temple looks brand new, it is actually one of the oldest structures in Sri Lanka. It was built at least 2,200 years ago. There are only eight temples in the world which house the tooth of Lord Buddha and the Somawati temple is one of them. But perhaps these are not the real reasons for the repeated UFO sightings here. The real reason is that this temple has an ancient crystal placed on top of the stupa. It looks small from this distance, but this is a massive crystal, more than one foot tall. Almost all Buddhist stupas have this crystal, locally known as Chuda Manikya. But it is said that the Somawati temple is the only temple which has this original ancient crystal. And Lord Buddha himself used this crystal to contact the Nagas. The Nagas are the extraterrestrial reptilian gods who are always shown aiding Lord Buddha. When we hear stories like this, we always think of a magic crystal ball which is used for psychic communication. But if the UFO sightings are real and can be photographed, it means there is actual technology involved. Do you know that the very first radio sets were created using crystals? These crystal radio sets did not need any external power at all and were capable of tuning into radio waves. And you can even use crystal headphones to listen to these signals. The beauty of this crystal radio is that no batteries or external electricity was needed to make it work. This technology was eventually phased out because rich businessmen realized that they could not charge people for electricity and make money out of it. But is this crystal really a radio wave receiver? 
Many people wonder why Buddhists take enormous pain to place massive crystals on top of these stupas. Now, why do people climb on trees to get a better signal on their cell phones? Because to receive radio waves clearly, the device needs to be at a higher altitude where there is no interference. Is this the same reason why ancient builders placed this gigantic crystal on top of the Somawati temple? To understand this, we need to take a closer look at how these crystals are actually set up. Buddhist monks often climb up these temples with no safety measures to perform rituals on these crystals. What is fascinating is that this is a 2,500 year old custom which is still being followed today. But during these rituals, the entire setup looks like a technical device. Look at the crystal. It is in contact with metal structures at the top and bottom and look at what is around it. Aren't these large coils similar to wires in a circuit, just like a crystal radio device? Having a crystal is one thing, but why place all these metallic tubes on top of the tower on specific dates? And look at this triated metal spire on top of the tower. It is said to be made of solid gold. Custom dictates that only gold must make contact with the crystal's bottom. Is it for mere decorative purposes or is it because gold is an extremely good conductor of energy? Why else would the crystal be placed on a golden spire? Is this crystal the metal tubes and the golden spire just meaningless showpieces? Or were ancient builders really setting up a large crystal radio set to receive radio signals? But where would the radio signals come from? Today, all scientists agree that we are getting radio waves from outer space. In 2012, a space observatory in Australia detected radio waves coming from outside the Earth. In 2014, another observatory in Puerto Rico has also picked up strange radio waves and has confirmed that these signals are definitely coming from deep outer space. While scientists argue that these signals could be coming from natural phenomena, they also sheepishly agree that extraterrestrials could also be sending us these radio signals. Were ancient builders creating these incredible structures just for blind faith towards gods? Or were they creating this massive infrastructure to actually communicate with the gods? But if this crystal mechanism is just a receiver of radio waves, wouldn't ancient builders also need a transmitter to send out radio waves? To understand this, we need to understand how a stupa is built and what is really inside a stupa, all of which I will show you soon. I hope you like this video. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.